Hamja 19 TV for the beautiful universe. Alhamdulillah wal kafa. Salamun ala ibadillah ladhi nastafa. Amma baad. Aouj billahi mina shaitan al-razim. Bismillahi rahman rahim Rabbi shurahli sadri. Wa yassirli amri. Ohaul uqdatam min lisani. Yabkahu qawli. My dear respected elders, audience and listener. First of all, I would like to welcome all of you with Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May peace, mercy and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. Today, the chosen topic of mine is the past is gone forever. I repeat, today the chosen topic of mine is the past is gone forever. My dear respected audience and listener, by broadening over the past and its tragedies, one exhibits a form of insanity, a kind of sickness that destroys, restores to live for the present moment. Those who have a firm purpose have filled away and forgotten occurrences of the past, which will never again see light since they occupy such a dark place in the races of the mind. Episodes of the past are finished with. Sadness cannot detrive them. Melancholy cannot make things right and depression will never bring the past back to life. This is because the past is non-existent. Do not live in the nightmares of former times or under the shed of what you have missed. Save yourself that you can return the sun to its place of rising, the baby to its mother's arm, milk to the udder, or tears to the eye. Be constantly dwelling on the past and its happenings. You place yourself in a very frightful and tragic state of mind. Reading too much into the past is a waste of the present. When Allah mentioned the appearance of the previous nation, He, the exalted, said, it's mentioned in Surah Bakara, chapter number 2, verse number 134. That was a nation who has passed away. Our tragedy is that we are incapable of dealing with the present, neglecting our beautiful castles. We well 
over dilapidated buildings. If every man and every gene are they jointly to bring back the past, they would most certainly fail. Everything on earth marches forwards, preparing for a new session. And so should you. My respected audience and listener, we should not think too much about what we left. Which day we left today, this day become a history in our life. There is a one popular proverb, let bygones be bygones. We should understand the deep teaching what I am speaking about. And we should not bother about what left in our past. We have to pay attention in our present so that we can enjoy in our life and we can make fruitful in this world as well as in the hereafter. So, which day is gone from our life, we can get back this day. Okay, it's better for us to forget that and we have to think about our present day. If we pay attention in our present day, then we can get success simply because everything preparing for the new session and we have to also prepare for our new session, new day. My dear respected audience and listener, no more today. I have to finish my speech here simply because Time does not permit me to go on and on. Inshallah, we will miss, meet again with my next lecture. Until then, I ask you good, I wish you good. And I would like to say Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuhu. Thanks for watching.